Hey, hey, everybody! This is Larry. This is me doing the, the, uh, the extra poem that I haven't seen, or doing a poem that I haven't seen before on January twenty seventh, twenty twenty three. Um, I sometimes call this the, my bonus question. So yeah, if you want to do an extra poem, uh, and do it with me, let me know. Um, are we getting a new problem? Or I, I could never tell what this means, but. Yeah, so let's let's get to it. Uh, how do, 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 do that RNG? Let me do something that's. Uh, I gotta start just doing these, and and you know, like I gotta just start doing these so that I don't get them, like maybe offline. I don't know if people are interested in SQL questions, but yeah, okay. That's today's uh, bonus question. As I got is twenty ninety eight subsequence. Of size k with the largest even sum. So okay, so what does that mean? So you have nums and an integer k. Find the largest even sum of any subsequence of nums that has a length of k. Return this sum or a negative one if the sum doesn't exist. Okay, so basically we're trying to get um, k numbers where the sum is total, and then we're trying to maximize it, right? Okay, so I think the, the key thing to notice is that this is a subsequence problem. And in, in that way, in that way, you can say that um, <clears throat> that if you try to sum a subsequence, which means any number in this sequence of length n, then you can always just, um, how do I say this? It just means that order doesn't matter anymore, right? Because now you can, there's no, you know, they give you're given an array of nums, but but there's nothing, um, nothing like like ties each index to another index, right? And what, what I'm about to say for that is that now we can maybe do something like some sub sort. Um, I don't even know that that's necessary, but but I. I think there are a couple of ways you can think about it. I think th there is a sorting one which I'm doing now, and then maybe there's a there's also maybe a heap related solution that we can think about as well. But um, because there are really only two states, right? Is length of size k because basically what what happens, right? Is if you take the first k number or the biggest k numbers, if it's even then you're done right because every number is smaller than that there's nothing you you know um you can replace or you shouldn't replace any number and either it doesn't make it even anymore well actually it, it just becomes smaller right that's the definition of it the other case is that the sum of the top k numbers is odd and in that case and there may be some new ones there but you have to either return uh, or replace an odd number with a given number or a given number with an odd number, right? Um, yeah. Um, because then that would change the parity to, from given to odd or odd to even and so forth. And so in that case, I think maybe that's even it. I was in my head. I was thinking maybe an algorithm would be that we do a for loop through that, but really, you just there really isn't. I mean, maybe you could do a for loop anyway, um, because of how you do the max odds and mod, max even. But basically, you're just trying to replace the smallest odd number that's inside the top k with a top even number, or the other way around, right? The smallest even number with the biggest uh, odd number. I think that's pretty much it. So yeah. So okay, so let's just say top k is equal to uh, sum of nums up, up to k, right? If top k mod 2 is equal to 0, then we return top k because it's even already, as we said. If it is odd, then um, I mean, I, I know how to do it, but uh, I'm trying to, I think in my mind, I'm trying to optimize the code too much. I mean, obviously, you can just do a for loop, so let's just do that. I don't know, <laughs> premature funkiness. But yeah, but basically now, um, uh, 
Yeah, um, basically the good. Uh, let's just say if any. Let's actually cache this a little bit. Um, nums k as you go to this. Uh, um, yeah, I, I think it's a thing where. Uh, well, maybe I'll just do it this way, right? <coughs> Right, and then basically, um, we're just trying to do if any number of in nums k, x for x in, if any of these number is odd, and there's, and if there's at least a even number in uh, rest, then we swap, and also. Maybe maybe I just make this slightly easier uh, to read. Uh, any odd of the say array is just this thing, right? Let's go to my window because I think it's so people were saying that someone was laughing in the background. I don't pay attention to the background that much, so uh, but. I think the mic sometimes captures it. I don't know why, because people always talk, tell me that, well, not always, but from time to time, people would tell me that I'm not speaking loudly enough, but somehow this mic picks up random background noises. But yeah, uh, if any of odd is in nums k and any even in uh, the rest, then now we can get the min, uh, we could get the max of, eh, this is kind of, Awkward, but max of x for x in west if x mod 2 is equal to um, so we have to get the even number from west um, and then okay so we might have to we have to do a two comparison though because so okay so best is you go top eh, best is you go zero say and then <clears throat> and then this is basically top k we add this number and then we minus the min of the odd number, right? In nums k, if x mod two is equal to one, right? So this is the 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 swap one, say, and then maybe uh, actually I should make this make it one, just in case, because then. Then uh, if the sum does not exist, we can return negative one. Yeah, right. Um, because yeah, and and by definition, that that means that both this and the other thing will fail. If any of well, let's just write it the other way. Any even number and any odd for rest, and maybe I could have done a helper here too. I don't know, but yeah. But basically, we just have to swap the even and swap the odd, right? Yeah, I call it swap two, though. No, it doesn't really matter. But all right, let's give it a spin. Hopefully, I didn't mess up something. Uh, looks okay for these three. I think there is a. Oh no, okay. I was worried that k could be maybe bigger than n, and that's like a trick case. I don't know. I feel like lead code has been kind of have some trick case lately, but sometimes not. So I don't know. Okay, cool. Got it right on the first try. Always good to hear. Um, there's just a lot of linear operations, right? Oh, well, sorting. Mm, I'm wonder. Can I do it without the sorting? Is there a thing? I mean, you can definitely make it slightly cheaper, in that you could do a heap. Right. If you do a heap, then it'll be n log k instead of, um, instead of n log n. But let me just write it down then, I guess. And log n, if you use heap to keep the top k, it would be n log k, right? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, because you really don't need the rest of the thing. So you uh, you have to do like do a partitioning, and it, it's more code, but it's doable, right? Uh, you just have to kind of keep track of those things. And in fact, you can probably do these in the same loop of like, if something popped out the top K, then you just see if it's odd and even, and then you kind of do math that way. But 
Uh, but yeah, but I think this gets limited by this, at least to this kind of logic anyway. I don't know if there's a easier logic to, to change it, but maybe th maybe there's some like uh, partitioning thing, but it won't be linear because it depends on K. I, I guess technically you could do a quick partition um, because K doesn't isn't always going to be by a uh, half, right? So, but if you do a quick partition, um, yeah, I forget the complexity for a quick partition. So yeah, but you can do it that way. I suppose that's closer. Um, uh, uh, that's a better complexity probably um, than sorting anyway or heaping. And then everything else is linear, right? This is linear. This is linear. Um, this is linear. This is linear. Uh, well, this is linear and this is linear. So yeah, so it's going to be dominated by n log n. And if you really wanted to upsell, then you could do an n log k. Um, cool. That's all I have for today. That's or that's all I have for this problem. I'm going to go uh, get some snacks. Uh, let me know what you think, and we'll do the daily problem. Well, when it comes up. So yeah, stay good, stay healthy, take good mental health. I'll see y'all later. And take care. Bye bye.